about pest control with Shell. I'm Shell Hartzer with 360 Pests and Food Safety Consulting, and today I'm going to whine about fruit flies. And fruit flies like wine, just like I do, so today I have a nice fruity Cabernet Sauvignon to talk fruit flies. Cheers. Mm, I think that needs to breathe a little bit more. For all of us who have dealt with tricky small fly issues, you know that identification is important. There are plenty of great resources out there and folks to help with that ID. So I'm not going to delve into that. However, we did drop a couple links in the description section to help you with identifying those small flies if you want it. Fruit flies, easy to deal with. Just clean up all the sanitation issues that their breeding ground is in and your problems are fixed. Of course, that's what makes these so challenging, is that it's hard to find those sources sometimes. Ultimately, you are looking for the buildup of organic material, or as I like to refer to it as gunk. Remember that this is where the larvae are developing. You can knock down as many adult fruit flies as you can, and about seven days later, you're back to where you started because all those little larvae have now developed into adults and are laying more eggs, which means more larvae and the problem blossoms. Ultimately, you have to get the gunk. Sometimes the gunk is easy to find and you can see the buildup in and around a drain. Sometimes it's a lot harder, like when it's underneath equipment or behind walls even. It doesn't take much gunk to support a population of fruit flies. Fruit flies do like fruits and vegetables, particularly those onions onions and potatoes when they start to turn bad. Bar areas with alcohol, like my wine here, are another great hot spot. Fruit flies like the alcohol. I do too. Soda machines, ice makers, trash bins, the list goes on. Once you eliminate those obvious spots and you're still having a problem, start looking a little bit further. One tip is to start inspecting the warm spots, anything that has a motor on it or is going to run a little bit warmer. And if there's moisture there too, you have that potential buildup of gunk. Think along the lines of refrigerators, vending machines, even warming drawers. I once had a fruit fly infestation that we finally tracked down to an industrial dough mixer. There was enough wet dough that had gotten inside the housing of that motor casing and the larvae were happy and warm inside. Let's be real. Sometimes the customer can't or won't address the sanitation issue. That doesn't mean you shouldn't keep on them. Keep telling them where the gunk is and that they should clean it. In those cases, you can still minimize the issue to a degree. While insect light traps aren't the best for fruit flies, those adults don't fly very well or far, they can still capture and eliminate some of the adults. There are some nice small models that can go in bar areas around soda machines and other of those tight areas where you know the flies might be nearby. You can even think about exclusion in some of your large accounts. Say you know the fruit flies are in a break room. You can make sure that that door is sealed all the way around so that the room is intact and contained. That way, the flies stay in that area and not come out onto the plant production floor. It's not perfect, but it can help some. If your customer isn't convinced that they should do the necessary sanitation to remove that gunk, this may help you. A few years ago, a research study was published that showed small flies in food facilities were capable of transferring foodborne pathogens from an infected surface to the food surface. They found that fruit flies transmitted E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. So to keep food, and my wine of course, safe, fruit flies need to be eliminated. The only way to effectively eliminate them is to get to the larvae. The larvae are in the gunk, so get rid of the gunk, get rid of the flies. There is a whole fruit basket of information related to fruit flies. I have just covered a single bite, a single sip. There will be more episodes, I promise. In the meantime, if you want to whine about pest control issues that you might be having, reach out to me to see how I can help. Cheers.